All right, so we've patched uh, to fix the sound. Did just a tiny bit of grinding here. Dalton, has he been here? Lord Dalton? He asked me where I found my artifacts and hurried off. And you told him? Idiot. Do you know what you've just done? Wait, please don't hurt me. Tell me where he is. The woods east of here. So I grinded like a level, I think. Nothing here. Oh yeah, there's a tab. Just noticing that now, probably. I need to use that effort. Two birds, one stone. Shit! Whatever. Don't you hate that when you accidentally save over an empty file? Splendid. This is the peace, all right. Immortality is within my grasp once again. Dalton! The prophet again. Heh, <laughs> you're too late anyway. I shouldn't have left you alive back then. Actually, I'd love to stay and catch up, but I have a date with immortality. Should you wish to witness the birth of my divinity, a ceremony will be held at the ruins in the far north. Now do me a favor and die. Not this shit again. I forgot how to kill this thing. Maybe it kills you automatically, I forget. Seems pretty effective if it's doing like 300. I mean, he's pretty slow. Oh, that was easy. Runes in the far north. Click. Alright, I need that heal. Half my treasures are worthless without magic, but I'm not an innate. Dalton, why can't he try to live peacefully among all of us? I 
next level. 54. It's pretty soon. So I happen to know it's here that we go next. First, I gotta fight some fellows. Check the tombstones, idiots. You can't get lost if you read them. Now, I happen to know that I don't have to fight those enemies again if I come back here. I'm also very close to getting a level, so I will grind one out. It'll take, like, maybe two battles. Since I've done this before, I'm also aware that this is a maze. Well, if I go here, I can fight these two. I can gain some experience this way. I don't think I have to fight too many more battles after this, so... I just want to grind out one more level. I don't even remember if there was a boss there. There might have been. Yeah, maybe I'll just sort of grind those levels just automatically. Advance the dreams cause interior feature. This color on walls. White left, gold up, blue right. Well, it looks blue to me. I forget this maze. I remember it's actually not that hard. But I do want to fight these fellows one more time. You can avoid them if you just kind of know how to expect them. I need to fight one more battle. Oh, here we go. Beautiful zeal, magic is norm. This type of magic is the most potent form. Right, left, lightning up, shadow right. I was get lost here. Was it up or left? Huh? What the? Something makes me think it's actually up since they're blocking the way. Right now, these are the catacombs beneath the Zeal Palace. Balthasar's predecessor made them. I must be on guard. Fuck! Shame you took a wrong turn back there. <laughs> so you fight those enemies for nothing. So good, you at least get to see what happens if you uh, go the wrong way. At this point, I'm fucked. He'll kill you automatically, and then he'll send you back to the uh, checkpoint. Nothing you can do about that. But at this point, I'm gonna want to heal. So, fine, just head back to the village and take a quick nap. It's fine, I gained a level anyway. Was it this one? No. Can I sleep here? Oh no, it's the other one. Durr. There. I didn't catch that last thing you said. Graph new left, there's another shop. Too much to throw away. Okay. Pretty sure I've seen him say that before. Now, another quick reminder, actually, before we proceed further. I mentioned this last time. Trinkets from Zeal become sort of currency around here. Can you spare me a Jade Orb? No? I will show you where the Jade Orb is in the next area. Because I made it that far to figure that out as well. I cannot obtain it right now, but I can go back and get it later.
anyway. Aha. These clues are worthless, by the way. Uh, can't always trust your eyes. You go here. See, this powerful and mighty is powered by what heavenly body? Uh-oh. Yes, because it's Lavos. I don't want to like unequip anything because I think it's gonna leave my party pretty soon. Yeah, let's keep him like that. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? See, I thought it was up. Alright, let's just reset at this point. We get to watch this intro play again. Which you actually have to sit through every time that you turn on the game. It's very annoying. I think in this uh, version you can skip it with the B button. Like the SNES B button. Excuse me. But only on, like, the, the first screen, like, right when it starts. It seems inconsistent. The old version I was playing, if you press the menu button while that uh, fellow was talking in the previous scene, you go to the menu, and when you come out of it, it shows something totally different. Um, and that whole scene with the three walking across the bridge wasn't in the previous version I was playing either. Now, to be clear, I made it about maybe five or six hours into the game. When I was uh, playing an older version, I found out that I was playing like a really old version. I think I gotta fight some fellows. Ah, ah boo. That doesn't normally happen. Learns Dark Bomb next. I remember when I first started playing this hack, I made it to this area, and already I was like, man, I don't know if I'm feeling this hack. Like, the first area of the game is a fucking maze with one character. <laughs> I was not feeling it. Um, then it got better get through this part right here, but then I made the decision to stream my entire playthrough, so it's gonna slow me way down. But this hack is pretty important, it seems. You're on your own for this one. I guess just go up. Oh! I thought it was up. Maybe it's right there. I wonder if I have to fight all those again. I don't think I do. I'm just gonna power through this time on my one HP. Oh shit, you gotta fight him every time. That's a problem. Oh, thank goodness, I thought I was dead. Well, guess I'll use one potion. Just get to farm some gill. Although I already got a lot of money just by digging around the casino really early on. I shouldn't have to worry about money like ever again. It's ridiculous. Look at my gold. It's crazy. 
I got like 70 of these. Ah, this sucks. I hate this area. Oh, MP, help yourself. I think I just bought like a bunch of potions just because I had a ton of money. There, finally. Alright, let's head right then I guess. I'm pretty sure it's always either up or right. I don't think it's ever left at any point. Or maybe there it's left. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Important to remember this for later. Wait, yeah. The next room's going left. I think. I remember now. It's neither. I remember. I think I can believe this shit. Uh, give me a critical. Shit. It's not up, it's not right, it's not even left. It's in here. Ha! Ah. There's a treasure chest off to the right you can't see right now. That's the Jade Orb. You give it to that guy and he gives you something. We're on chapter 5, right? Yes, sir. Okay, get ready to write. And then it came to pass that Venerable Dalton, yes, he who subjugated the golems, located the silver streak of zeal, and taking it upon his mantle, declared the new kingdom an immortal one, with Dalton as eternal region over... Hmm? Prophet? These games are over. Yeah. Smack. Hey, those guys are getting hard to find these days. Wait. I detected magic. Shadow, no less. Just who are you? Doesn't matter anyway, your aura has weakened a lot since those events five years ago. With your death, I will be the only heir of zeal once more. Time to put you in your place, shall we? And that's it. Wasted a potion for that. Still weak. Pathetic. You were much more tenacious last time. I'm gonna throw you in a st stasis tube. You know you're a wimp. You're an ape magic user. And I, could, and I need your energy to complete my de I could need your energy to complete my device. After that, you'll make a nice snack for my golems. Or if you're lucky, you might even become my new jester. Yeah, that treasure chest right there. You have to come back here much later. Shala. See, Shaw, that's why we need the Mammon Machine. But is it worth... I mean, he objected to it. The very idea of getting power from... Don't be silly, that was before any of us knew the power of Great Lavos. Immortality is beckoning, and your mother demands you come. But... Janice, what are you doing here? Shala, look, I've taught myself to... Come to the hall tonight, Shala, and we'll work on channeling this energy. Oh, get that kid someone to keep him quiet. Cat, maybe? Uh, ow, my knee. I can just get to the spring. No choice. I must use magic. 
Janice, your magical energy. That's remarkable. I never knew. It's getting stronger and fast, too. To be that powerful, physically and magically, for a human his age. Yes, he is exactly the symbol we need. Come out, Magus, king of the mystics. Quickly, escape from this place. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't... Stop! Okay, I'll spare them. Must it end like this? What? Luca, what are you three doing here? Robo, where are we? Oh, oh, this is most interesting. Most interesting indeed. I take it these are the three time travelers, Robo. That is correct. Uh, perfect. Luca, Marl, and Chrono, you must excuse me. The version of me that you encountered was from a ruined future in the previous timeline. I have actually never met you, until now that is, though I've long studied your adventure to defeat Lavos. Wow. Yes. Well, follow me. Hey, Robo. I am pleased to see you again, Luca, Chrono, and Marl. I'm sorry we can't celebrate this right now, though, as I must keep an eye on the computers. We'll talk after the visit, then. I have so many things to tell you. Welcome to Chronopolis. You are in 2305 AD. I created this temporal research institution after finding myself in this era. Through magic, long lost in this time period and current science, we are able to conduct all kinds of research on temporality. I rounded up a few trustful scientists who avidly delve into the nature of space-time. It's a far cry from my old laboratory. What's in this room? Ah, uh, through that door is a hangar intended to house my next project, APOC 2 or the neo apoc whichever you prefer. Currently, technology needed for a time machine that can travel to nearly any era is too crude and cumbersome for a mobile vehicle. Which brings me to my next work. Hey, are you Atropos? Is everything okay? I am aware of my fate in the ruined fu future world timeline. But Mother Brain, even though she is still used as a supercomputer, is restricted by adequate security parameters. There is nothing to fear. Interesting. So the Mother Brain AI is still in use. Hmm. This center structure is the current peak of temporal transform technology, called the Temporal Dispatch Chamber, or TDC. It utilizes a magnificent store of energy kept in magically tuned time circuits to transport the contents to almost any place in time. Whoa, this time machine can go anywhere? Correct. Well, actually, it can only travel to, uh, on a yearly scale. 1001 AD, 1002 AD, 1003, and I can't break it down more. Such a feat is possible with a time egg, but the integrity of those is too fragile to sustain an energy and usage of this magnitude. The TDC only works one way though. It can send people, but it will not bring them back. This is why we have the temporal catch, which is located in Robo's room. Temporal catch works only if a strong temporal disturbance already exists somewhere by forcing it to open and catch a nearby traveler. Amazing, you're a genius. Oh, I suppose the feeling is mutual, my dear. Well, I got some more adjustments to make on the TDC, so why don't you take a look around? This facility has a large lower level, which can be accessed through the elevator to the left. Have fun. Go ahead and take a tour. Chronopolis is stationed on a small island in the El Nido Sea. Balthasar chose this area for its electromagnetic qualities, so it's just an empty sea. So you're the famous heroes. We've read so much about you. Can I have your autographs? Someday this garage will house the new wings of time. I'm pleased to see you again, Luca Chrono and Marla. I'm sorry I can't celebrate this right now. I must keep an eye on the computers.
Oops. This is a primary workstation. It facilitates a variety of activities. Ah, this is infirmary and rest area. Those chambers put you to sleep instantly, wake you up whatever time you choose. They can also put you in stasis if you're injured. On the mainland, only the Central Regime High Command has medical technology like this. Strange beds, eh? They may look curious to you, but they're actually very comfortable. Take a nap? No. Yeah. First things first. How are you, Luca? Surprise? Feldasar brought me here a few weeks ago. You're just in time to witness something spectacular. Here goes nothing. Blast it. Didn't work. What am I doing, you ask? It's simple. In theory, my research indicates that Dreamstone, under certain conditions, can be rigidified into stronger material. Unfortunately, it's just not working. I don't want to exhaust the Dreamstone supply. Or you may have to fetch some. Huh. <laughs> Well, more seriously, I'd better not keep you. You must be eager to explore this place. That rainbow quality improves with depth, but how to extract core substance? Spatial anomaly possible, but research is required on... Blah, blah, blah. Neuropolis News Uplink. Displaying. Talks renewed. The states Rigior and Poor renewed talks with the Comet Islands today. Hoping to achieve a new trade deal that would bring the wealth of the archipelago to southern Xenon. When asked whether a new agreement would injure the wealth of New Dorino, its mayor scoffed at the idea, calling talks a waste of time. Display complete. Hello, I am Motherbrain. Specify your query, please. I was created in 1998 AD to oversee work at the Genesis Dome. When production halted in 2200 AD, I was relocated to Truce to perform intelligence work. 2300, when Chronopolis was built, Director Balthasar secured my transportation here. He also unlocked my higher thought processing abilities, which were disengaged in truce. I'm now formally known as Motherbrain, version 2.8. I oversee the operations of this place. By the way, come back from time to time. I will provide you with any assistance you require. Chronopolis was created by Balthasar, who secured funding and resources independently from all governmental organizations. The actual location of the, is the Sea of El Nido, a barren stretch of ocean claimed by the Comet Islands government. The center has remained totally unknown to the outside world thanks to advanced cloaking devices. By the way, come back from time to time. Oh shit. Ah. Okay, don't talk to him on accident again. I'm monitoring power fluctuations. Don't want to surge now, do you? It was simple for Balthasar to mimic the technology of Zeal and create this reactor. Are you the heroes? This machine is based off the same technology as the man machine, though the power source is different. The dreamstone you see enriches the output of your gener generators tenfold, but we're always on the lookout for better sources of power. Ah, what an interesting world. I'm relieved Balthasar saved me after the fall of Zeal. Wow, this is really impressive. What a bright center. So much technology, I can do a lot with this stuff. That was quick. That dreamstone chunk originally had some residual Lavos energy, but it was quickly used up. You can keep relying on this dreamstone for a few decades at least. Belvisar would like very much to find new sources of power though. was the poor agent, wasn't it? What is he doing here? How did he get here? No idea. But we better stop him. He must be up to something. Going up. Where did he go? 
What the? Let's go and use the dispatch chamber. Not if we stop him. Uh, don't move. Balthasar, we're stuck. It's too late. The destination is set to 1005 AD. Well, at least we're going somewhere familiar. Find out what that person did. Hurry. Okay, I guess I read that all with the mic muted. That's terrific. Uh, stop right there. How'd you get to Chronopolis? No use talking. Let's trash this guy. Returning to... Face. Where could he be going? Back to poor? We'll find out one way or another. They got a base on the coast. That's gotta be it. Chrono, let's get a move on. Now, I can actually go back to this area and... Obtain a couple treasures. Here's one. I had the mic muted because I've actually got to mute it for just a quick minute here. I'll probably just opportunity to take a quick bathroom break as well. Alright, so back in just a moment.